Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Sunday, July 13th, 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. The seismic swarm at Mount Rainier continues today, and now we've reached, I think, over 549 earthquakes in just the last month. Buckle up, buttercup, and keep calm. It's boom time. We've got rounds of severe weather to rumble in the central U.S. into midweek. Portions of the central United States will face more episodes of severe thunderstorms capable of producing strong winds and gusts as well as hail, according to many. And here are the maps. AccuWeather exclusive forecast Monday afternoon through night. Bismarck, Fargo, Grand Forks, Minot, you're all in the crosshairs up in the Dakotas. Let's move it through Tuesday through Tuesday night. It's going to be Scotts Bluff, North Platte, Sioux City, Sioux Falls, Watertown, Rapid City, Minneapolis, Rochester, Duluth. Yeah, a huge swath for Tuesday and Tuesday night. And Wednesday afternoon into the evening, Omaha through Marquette, Holy mackerel, heed the warnings. And here is the full forecast. Heavy to excessive rainfall and flooding threats in the central and eastern U.S. with heat and fire weather concerns in the west. Thunderstorms producing excessive rainfall and potential flooding concerns will continue through tonight from the southern plains through the east coast areas of the greatest concern for flooding over central texas and the mid-atlantic heat will continue to build across the west through tuesday lose day and heat advisories and extreme heat warnings are in effect fire weather concerns continue through monday as we're praying for monsoonal conditions to return to the west take a look at this three states over the great lakes region Bad air as well as Colorado. Let's take a look at the live smoke and fire map. Fire and smoke map 4.1 is showing very dangerous air over portions of the northern tier, the northern plains moving into the northeast, as well as in the southwest. Our air cleaned up a little bit today. We're now in the light gray. and We were in the dark gray three days ago. So we're breathing a little better here, but still air quality is garbage, as well as for 50% of the U.S. Holy macaroni. Quick look at Tornado HQ Live at the severe weather map. We've got marine warnings in the Great Lakes in Erie and over here at Superior. And we've got severe thunderstorm warnings in Arizona and Florida simultaneously. Santa Cruz County in Arizona and Flagler and Putnam in Florida. As the storms will continue to simmer overnight, we've got a line of storms in the East Coast moving through uh, the western suburbs and we'll be heading towards Philadelphia in just a few hours. Quick look at the GFS model, and we'll run it through here. Here is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday into the weekend. Here's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So normal activity across the lower 48. Most of the states will be picking up some type of precipitation. Let's look at the total accumulated precipitation over the period, and we'll walk it through here. Here's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to see that most of the states are going to be getting rain, some of them in the amounts of two to three inches. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. By the beginning of the weekend, all of the states in the U.S. will be getting rain except the West. And we're talking about Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Nevada, and Cali are in the dry but the monsoon is going to take effect and be driving moisture up into those regions through the end of July. So some portions of Utah and Nevada will be getting rain as well as Idaho, but not enough to put out the wildfires that are burning in the West. And the tropical outlook. Here is the seven-day graphical tropical weather outlook for the Atlantic. And we do have a region here, Disturbance 1, 20% chance of cyclone formation in the next seven days. Otherwise, all other regions are quiet in one of the quietest tropical seasons ever reported in June. 
And that uptick at Mount Rainier continues today. We've got, well, earthquakes happening in just the last two hours. That's what the red denotes here in the region. Let's look at a big blow up. Yeah, more earthquakes happening today. And if we go back to the original, let's just rewind this. We're going to see that we've now have 549 earthquakes at Mount Rainier. Yesterday it was at about 478. I don't quite remember the number. So we've had at least 75 new earthquakes in the last 24 hours. This is still ongoing. And we have no explanation other than hydrothermal activity. This is the largest earthquake swarm in decades. And we're hoping and praying that no eruption is imminent because there are tens of thousands of people downrange that are in harm's way if an eruption does occur. So keep a close eye on us. And if there is any updates we need to make, uh, we're going to be bringing it to you live. Seismic update. No real quakes of note. Low level activity worldwide. We've got a few rumblers here in Cali. Uh, 3.1 near Tom's Place, 2.7 in Olancha. But I'm sure you're all quite aware of that type of activity. Worldwide, pretty moderate activity. In fact, low-level activity worldwide, bringing us to Worldwide Volcano News for the 13th of July. Ibu first on the list, 7,000-foot 7, 7, blast there. Ibu to 7,000-foot. Popo to 20,000 foot. We've got Ducono to 8,000 foot. Sevenu, who knew? Now you do. 15,000 foot blast today. San Gay on the list. 22,000 foot. Kirishima puffing and passing with a 6,000 foot blast earlier today. Ibu to 7,000 foot. Liwatobi puffing and passing. Volcanic ash to an unknown height. How do they not know? That's my question. Liwatobi puffing and passing to 6,000 foot. Popo to 20,000, and that wraps up the short list for the 13th of July. And here is a look at space weather the last 24 hours. Flaring has reduced. The three-day geomagnetic forecast is all quiet, even though we're waiting for major coronal hole streams. The problem is that this Coronal hole is way to the south there. So it's so far from the equatorial region that much of the plasma stream may not reach Earth. And according to Discover Solar Wind, the peak happened, well, 18 hours ago. It's now dropping off a cliff. Let's refresh this. Yeah, there is no recoupling. This is all we're going to get. It rose up to about 700 kilometers per second. We did reach a minor geomagnetic storming over the last few days, but the probability of geomagnetic storm tonight is, well, paltry at best. Three-day geomagnetic forecast is all quiet, and we are headed to solar minimum, folks. Scientists link autism to Neanderthal DNA found in modern humans. So it may not be the vaccines, but this could also be a deflection, a cover-up from what is actually happening from this vaccine protocol that has increased over the last several decades to unprecedented territories. But scientists are now linking autism to Neanderthal DNA found in modern humans. Well, it might mean that if you have Neanderthal DNA and you get the vaccine protocol, then you get retarded. That's all I'm going to say on that. As we look at precious metals skyrocketing before the weekend, silver has reached almost $40 an ounce. It just went live and, well, it's supposed to hit $50 by the end of the year. Why are you not hedging your bets and protecting your retirement? Why Gold Co.? Well, from precious metal IRAs to direct purchases of gold and silver, they have helped thousands of Americans diversify and protect their retirement savings every day. If you want to bring over an IRA from an old job into precious metals, there are no penalties. So it's a smooth transi 
transition. Request your free 2025 gold and silver kit now. No obligation. Just put in your limited information here. No social security number needed. Well, and be the change you want to see and survive and thrive in the future with your new precious metal IRA retirement plan. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and we need your help. Half of you viewing tonight are unsubscribed. Just hit that button, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And we've been posting now every day for over eight years. Can you believe that? Absolutely mind-blowing. We love each and every one of you. Be safe, and that is a boom. Peace.